Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install and start using Kotus UI framework not only as your development environment but also your toolbox to create web interfaces. So the prerequisites to be able to install the framework are that you need to have first Node.js installed and also you need to have a package manager to also install the dependencies. You can either use Node and NPM or as I will do use yarn which is the equivalent to npm so head over to kotus.com under documentation you'll see a link to the github page of kotus framework so i'll go ahead and click on this click on the code and then download the zip so go ahead and unzip this folder and it's pretty much the same both on windows and mac so i will go ahead and unzip the Kotus UI framework, you can go ahead and as you will change the name here, then go to the terminal, having node and npm or yarn installed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the folder that is unzipped. Here I will just go ahead and do yarn install, but you can go ahead and do npm install as well. It's the same thing. So now here the dependencies are getting installed. Perfect. So now I'm going to open the framework into my code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you can use anything you like. You can see that there is a SRC folder under the framework, and there is a JS folder and SCSS folder, and these are the places where you put the components of Kotus UI framework under them. Otherwise, you click on index.html, and this is where you actually put your HTML code. So now under terminal, I'm going to do yarn run golf, or you can do yarn, uh, or you can do npm run golf. What it does, it will compile the SAS and JavaScript files, and it actually opens a browser as an empty canvas for you. I have already created a piece of HTML code that I want to use for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it on the body before the script ends. Now if I save, you will see that the browser auto refreshes with the changes that I have made over here. But also what happened is that under the framework, there is a public folder that is created. Now, if you want to deploy this, just go ahead and go over netlify.com. It's a very fantastic service to host and also deploy the static web pages. I have already created an account. If you don't have it, go ahead and sign up. It's a straightforward. So I'm going to log in here. The only thing that I need to do here is actually go to the folder where I have my framework and drag the public folder and paste it under the sites over there. And that's it. You can see that it starts deploying your website and now the website is deployed. Now there is a link over here. If I go ahead and click on that, you will see that it actually hosts the web page that I've created using Kotus framework on a public domain over here. And you can go ahead and share this link with your friends, your clients, or your family. Uh, you might ask where I found these components over here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Kotus framework. If you click on Kotus UI framework, there is an arsenal of a lot of components production ready that we have created. So I went ahead and found the ones that I want to do and I saved them and it ended up under the save folder. So you can see that this is the top navigation that I have chosen and also I chose this hero over here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.